Hey everybody, here's Chica and I'm going to be doing another retro video. Now this video is from Beyond Science and the, f and the title of the video is Seven Year Old Girl Finds Excalibur in Legendary Lake. Now uh, this is going to be a bit unusual but hey, hey, that's, uh, hey. Things unusual happen or do happen, so so uh without further ado let's dive into it, shall we? By the way, the link to the original video will be in the description box for those of you not wondering. Hey guys, this is Mike Stan. Just a really fun bit of news for today. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but there's actually sort of a renaissance when it comes to the legend of King Arthur. I mean, there was a bunch of movies like King Arthur, Legend of the Sword, Arthur and Merlin, and even the latest Transformer movie included that famous legend. Now, we all know the story, right? Boy pulls sword from a rock, becomes a king, goes furniture shopping, buys a round table, gets a legendary sword from a random woman in a lake. Of course, this all ended when Arthur lost his last fight at the Battle of Camelot, where he was fatally wounded. She before he died, Arthur supposedly threw his legendary sword Excalibur into Dogmary Pool, the lake where he got his sword in the first place. Now, no one really knows much. what happened to the sword after that, but some say that the Lady of the Lake reached out and grabbed it and took it back. And if that was indeed the case, then apparently the Lady of the Lake didn't really keep good track of the sword because it was just found by a little seven-year-old girl last week. So here's what happened. According to the Sheffield Star, seven-year-old Matilda Jones was swimming with her family at Dogmary Pool while on vacation last Tuesday when she discovered a shiny sword beneath the water. According to her father, Paul, he said it was a blistering hot day and Matilda asked if we could go for a paddle. She was only waist deep when she said she could see a sword. He goes on to say that I told her not to be silly and it was probably a bit of fencing, but when I looked down, I realized it was a sword. It was just there laying flat on the bottom of the lake. The sword is four feet long, which is exactly Matilda's height, and Paul thinks the sword is only 20 or 30 years old and probably an old film prop. <laughs> If that's an old film prop, then that looks very realistic. Hmm. If I found that, if I found that, then and at the school I went, at the middle school and or high school I went to, does that whole, does the whole show and tell thing, like elementary school does, then I would bring that sword into school and I would show it off. I think, Oh, here, here is something I found in a in a lake, and uh, it's a badass motherfucking sword. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna and and to prove it's real, to prove it's real, I also got I got and uh, I also got the fucking rock here. But I got this conquer cyber to help me prove that this is a, a legit sword. So um, and, and if it's okay with the teacher, I would like to demonstrate. That this sword to prove is a real motherfucking sword. And if I do, I say, okay, base yourselves. Die, bitch! Ah! Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, Daniel Claude taught me how to do that voice. Die, bitch! Yeah, uh, Daniel Claude taught me how to do that, so I know how to do that. That's very cool. Die, bitch! Ah! Oh! One, two, three, waka, 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 waka. This whole experience was really cool for Matilda because on the way to the lake, her father just told her about the legend of King Arthur and then she gets to the lake and she finds a sword. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but to me, this kind of sounds like the Star School of Fantasy movie. I mean, think about it. Little girl hears about the legend of King Arthur, goes to a lake where a ton of people go every single day, and she's the one that finds a sword. That's some chosen one stuff. Now, I don't know if anybody else is thinking this, but what if that sword isn't 20 or 30 years old? And look, I know it's probably not, but still, you gotta wonder, right? I mean, what if you got it tested and found out that the sword actually dates back to the period of King Arthur? I think if that happened, this story's gonna get really interesting. That's basically like Arthur as a little boy pulling the sword out of the stone, except here, it's just a lot less work. But all in all, what a fantastic day for Matilda. Because think about it, you're a little kid, and you just hear about this fantastic legend and you go to the place where supposedly the main character of this legend is throws a magical sword and, and you find a sword. I mean, that's a story to tell for the rest of your life, right? Anyway, the family is keeping the sword. They took it home with them and I think that's a good thing because Matilda... Yeah, you find us keepers, baby. You might need to find us keepers. Again. You keep right, that guys, sword. That's a really fun, interesting story I thought I'd share with all of you. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you later. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. You call for this keepers on that. You call for this keepers on a sword. You found us. She found a sword. She gets to keep the sword. Yeah, if if that's me and I found that sword, I fucking keep on that sword, baby. Hell yeah, I'm gonna keep that sword. I'm gonna have that sword at home. I'll probably I'll probably make a have a mantel piece on the wall. Put the sword on the mantel on the wall. Heck yeah, I I would do that. I will do that. Yeah, and also, I probably would film, I would actually film a couple of videos about that. I would have done a story type video on that, where I'll showcase a sword. You gotta be, you gotta be all kinds of lucky to actually find that, that sword, or a sword like that. Anyway, um, the link to this original video is going to be in the description box. Like, comment, subscribe and all that. And until next time, bye-bye.